Welcome to Dear Esper Landmark Edition. So what is the game? It's basically a walking similar game, which is currently free to keep on Steam until February 16th of 2022. So let's start this off. So we have Argus is saved at any chapter. So we have one, two, three, four chapters. And the first one is the lighthouse. We can do director's comedy. I'm not going to. So off to the lighthouse, which looks like the background there is. The cave actually looks pretty cool. And here we are. Dear Esther. I have lost track of how long I have been here, and how many visits I have made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. All right. Wonder how much he's on talk. I mean, he's walking somewhere. It's probably gonna be quite a bit of it. I like how the flashlight out when it comes on. Graphics aren't the greatest, but I mean they're fine. So I'm kind of curious what I have in store for myself, to be honest. So we can go up or down. Let's go down first. I mean, what's that? Is that the lighthouse or red marking? I bet. Got some clouds. Nice chill music. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it waves. Eh. Oh, music's all right. What, how do you guys feel about walking simulars? I don't know. I, I never know how I feel about them. Like, I don't mind walking simulars that have either, like, you gotta, like, find clues or something, or do, like, I don't want to say puzzles or, like, parkour, but something like that. Or, like, you walk a while and you do something, kind of like Death Stranding, you know? That's cool and cool, walk simulars. But then you have like the story bits in between, like this game's going probably have story bits in between, like they hint us talking. And then like they have the combat, I don't know. I just, no walk in simulars, uh, it's one of those games, I never really got into any of them. Like either Finch is pretty good, but I wouldn't call it a walk in similar. So kind of got up though, it looks like maybe I'll go, yeah it looks like that stairs too. Okay, you can't run, you have the biggest um, field of view up. I, I love to cross her own because, yeah. There was once talk of a wind farm out here, away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. All right, what's the symbol about? I don't know my symbols. Yeah, this... I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I kind of looked like a bird and like a... I don't know, whatever. You know, like a parrot or something on the, like, like a pirate's shoulder. You know, the face and it's inside something. Who knows? But yeah, wood turbines would go pretty good. It's pretty windy probably about the coast. I wonder if I would have went up that very first time and, and I would have went straight to the lighthouse. Would that have been like another chapter? Like, that's your goal, lighthouse. Because I'm, I like, I didn't read anything about this. I basically like, okay, it's freaky. Add to account, download, Dear look Esther, at the tag. <laughs> I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me, sir. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Can I not die or drown? Do I have to really go back? Oh, or can I? I think I can. <laughs> there, I find a way. Dying games, even when you're not supposed to. I can't do anything about this. I wonder where it's going to put me back to. I, mean, I was curious. Come back. Oh. What did? Oh, okay. That checkpoint. Uh, what did I say? Sinada. Say I can't pronounce that. So now I'm gonna go back the other way. Uh, I don't like that way. I guess we're all the way down there. I see our car door. I got some pick up. Now to go all the way back. Ugh. I know it's a walking center, but come on. What a place up. Oh, that's not too far, at least. Actually, me going to the ocean probably dying took longer than walking back. And now we got some stairs. Yeah, what's the audio? Um, I always 
when they have like one audio slider, it's because like the, the what you want to say, the developers are like, I want this voice volume to be equal to this music volume, so they have it all tuned. But then it kind of seems because I like the voices louder because usually I be quiet during the cutscenes, I talk over like most people. In the music, I like quieter. I don't know. It's just sometimes I like doing my old body, like volume adjusting, but it was too late for some other like slow roll mellers down. I might now. Yeah. That sometimes makes it easier on me. What's up here? I mean, again, I think I'm supposed to go straight to the lighthouse. Mood. I don't know how long these chapters are. Like, what lighthouse? Because that one, that one's not working. This one is. But it's way out there. For some reason, I think it was a little just to go with this one. Reading Donnelly by the weak afternoon sunlight. He landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay, and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves, and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. Is he talking about my decisions I'm making now? Because I didn't really ask for her? I'm kind of curious about that. <laughs> Later I fix that. Ooh, no. Alright. Kind of reminds me of the Skyrim grass, you know? So I believe we're going there. Like I said, I think we went to that one. It'll be like, nope. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. What, is that like a black death going on? What's going on here? Um, I guess I'll stop you. It's barbed wire. What are these about? I quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? So I assume we're near the Isles? Is that the cave? There's a boat. And I put the subtitles as large as I go because for once I get quiet and he talks and you can read them. And two, I don't think it's Dear talking Esther, much. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason, or retribution, he still spiraled in panic thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Alright. Ooh, I hear like a radio. I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. I love how this one more looks. I don't know, because I add a color. That looks pretty nice. And Cave has like bluish to white. Ah, oh, it looks pretty. I like it. Let's go this way. And I can't do anything about my flashlight. I'm at home though. That's fine. Yeah, I haven't been recording much. I've been kind of lazy. I should be lazy. I've been reading books lately. I used, I usually once in a while watch a TV show or something, try to kill with YouTube. But I kind of seen everything and read nothing else too. I mean, I've seen the Super Bowl. I've been reading books. So I read all the Metro ones. And I started a little bit on the Witcher ones. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna take a break. Because for once, I haven't recorded really. Instead of recording and reading books at a time. But yeah, I need to play the Metro games, especially because I read the books, I finished those, now I want to play a game and compare it. I have seen the game, but 
I haven't played it myself and I have them. At least I have the first two. I don't have the last one. And I'm worried I'm going to start playing it. Like, I don't know when I'm going to start recording it. And it's going to be like, okay, now what's the difference between two? Well, it's been too long <laughs> since I read a book, you know. Alright. Yeah. I don't know what your books. Um, I don't know if I don't want to read them because I know how they end. Because my friends, I remember them talking about them so much in school. I don't know that reason. But at the same time, if I start reading them, then once I finish them, then I might want to play the game. Or the first, second, third, go in order like I want to as Metro. I don't know. But yeah, I gotta stop reading and... I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun, and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl, and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. With the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom, all the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Okay. But yeah, it's just, oh, I need to start recording again. I used to do like one video a night, but then I went to like, I'm going to batch record one night and then not record for the rest of the night. It's like, yeah, I need to get back in the swing of things. I've been recording a while. Like, I, I should say that. But like, I was doing the one video, you can probably tell it's like three videos ago. I didn't even know how I did my outro. <laughs> it's pretty funny for that. What way do we go here? Looks like we go up this way. That looks like a pretty good path. Kind of shocking. The game kind of lets you like choose your own path. Am I getting that right? Like, it's not being very strict about it. Unless I won't let me come up here and take a shortcut. Uh, let me no come on no uh, so maybe go through that probably through there that's my guess fine 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 and it's supposed to be like stonehenge a bit what's this about mm. yeah i should probably read more description of games yeah free to be free to keep game on steam i don't know i guess the narrator is not bad the sound is bad, but just to walk in somewhere, it's like, got me something to do, let me collect stuff, let me chase stuff, I don't know. You know, like, have nature come in front of you, something. This walking. Hmm. I wonder how easy these games are to make. Because, no, I don't know. Still going this way, that lighthouse is so far away. Four chapters. I wonder how long each one is. We're at, what, the 13-ish minute mark? And I think I've been walking for maybe 11 of it. It's clearly a death screen at the like 30 seconds. I don't know. Look like at deep all of a sudden. Dromo! Oh. Danlini? Sure. Oh. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. So, am I going the right way? I don't like how I had a loading screen. I guess it makes sense, but this game, you don't think it would need a loading screen, because... I guess there's not too much around there. I can go down there, probably. Or maybe not, maybe just for looks. Who knows? It's down there. Hurdle ship? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a buoy thing out there. To the ships now. Okay. What are they called? Are they called buoys out there when they're like the big ones with the, the with the bell? I know they flow in like metal. It's like all and like um hmm. How do I describe it? All like I don't want to say cartoon, but the squid's always on top of them or something, you know? Most of them. Or I think in Jaws he brings it down in the water. If I'm getting that right. I don't know. Yeah, I need to figure out some games to play. I said, I'm, I'm actually from my library pretty good on the game store library, all the free ones. And slowly I go through my Steam ones. I always feel bad doing one off on those. Imagine dance of her message. The tires are flat, the wheel spins loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map, staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. Dead what does that say? Uh, nor drink. I don't know. But yeah, speaking of, oh, I gotta go up this way. Speaking of the Steam, or oh, I gotta go down actually. I gotta go down. The Steam library, because most of those are like, like most of my Steam games are more like blowing games like Witcher, Borderlands, uh, Metro, like 
more like games you have to play more on episodes than do one off. Uh, sure, I need to go through just get a bunch of those games, download it, and do a one off one, but I gotta go in and do all settings, uh, get my audio adjusted. There's a couple games I want to play, but I've been putting on back burner because, like I said, I need a lot of time to record if we do more one. Or just get in the mood for them, because it's easier to do games I do, okay, appointments, you're done. It sucks all night. Okay, I'm gonna like Metro. I'm gonna do a one-off on it, but then it's like, I wanna keep on playing. It's like, don't have time. No. And it sucks playing, jumping from game to game to game, not having groove, you know. Oh, water sounds. So I'm mad supposed to go up here. I'm missing something. Like, am I supposed to collect stuff? I don't know. I seriously, I don't think I'd go in there. How far away is this thing house? Jeez. I the fences is telling me where to go, kind of. Muffler? Okay. Can I go this way? No, my luck. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. Ooh. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape. And you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Okay. Oh, I didn't sign off with Steam, huh? I can just put a little black box and block that. I think this is a good ending point. I mean, you get to jump to this game. Can I go down there? Is this what Paul saw through his windscreen? Not Lot's wife looking over her shoulder, but a scar in the hillside falling away to black forever. A scar? I don't call a scar. Yeah, I think I'm out of here. You want to see more of this game? I mean, I'm willing to. It's just, I guess I kind of do like channel ups and just walk around and blabber because nothing more to do. That's why you have developer commentary if you're playing by yourself, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm out of here. Remember, this is free to keep on Steam. The link's in the description until the 16th of February. The link's in the description if you want for yourself. Comment down below if you want more of this. So, like always, thanks for watching. And have a great day. Comment down below and bye. Come on, give me an achievement. Come back. Aww. That'd be cool if you had a chance for, for oh there we go stack A and R. If you had a chance for falling into every single possible hole, they put them on the right side. So what's going on? On a different side.